It has been a discovery about 30 years ago at the University of Brussels, um, which now that department is also part of our institute, so we have a long tradition with working with these kind of antibodies. Why llamas have such kind of antibodies is an open question, I think. Uh, they are much smaller than the ones we find in, in human, for example. So they uh, have a number of advantages because of that. Their small size, smaller than conventional antibodies, allows them to reach targets, to reach part of the virus, which is difficult to access with conventional antibodies. So the size really matters there. Well, the first goal is to see whether it's working in patients or whether it does its job like we see it in doing in, in mice, in, in hamsters. But we need to prove that what we see in, in the lab, in, in experimental conditions, works in humans so that we can uh, help patients that they come in the hospital. The studies we're doing at the moment are focusing on patients who are in the hospital because there clearly there's a high amount of medical need. These are patients that are ill and we want to help them recover more quickly um, and be discharged from hospital 